Guys, Bridget here. In this video, I want to quickly share how you can uh, easily and uh, quickly change fonts uh, in a Figma file. So whether you're having multiple screens or just uh, a series of components uh, and uh, you need to change uh, fonts in a Figma file, there is this amazing plugin which uh, is called the Font Replacer Ultimate. So simply look for Font Replacer and uh, you're going to find it right away. Now, if I tried a bunch of these, but this one is by far the easiest to use and the one that basically does the job 100% of the times. So as you can see, now we have uh, uh, the ability to change from selection, page and document and actually upgrade it to the lifetime subscription, but you have uh, a lot of uh, uh, free uh, options or actually free trials that you can do. So if you select the selection, basically, that's going to make only the change in that specific selection. So in this component that I selected, uh, usually I keep it to page since uh, also for loading speed is uh, quite uh, strategic. Um, or document basically changes the font in the entire Figma document. So just leave it to selection for now. Uh, I'll just uh, grab a few of these. Uh, and uh, once you click on parse, uh, you're basically going to be redirected to this screen right here, which uh, is very simple. Over here, you're going to find all of the fonts. So if you have a bunch of, of fonts, uh, you're going to see them all this year, uh, the one in this current selection. And uh, I can uh, uncheck uh, the ones that I do not want uh, to change. So this is actually quite cool because uh, see that you do not want to change uh, some specific font families, you can very easily avoid doing it from here. And then uh, say that I want to change all of these uh, to say Geist. Simply going to type it in and uh, simply going to do that real quick. And uh, you can simply select, uh, for example, semi bold, regular, bold, and then I'll click on change font. As you can see, it instantly did it. Uh, sometimes you're going to need to refine just a little bit, but it does really a really good job overall. Like it's uh, it's really neat uh, and um, yeah, just something that I highly recommend you to uh, keep in mind uh, in your toolbox uh, as you're working in Figma.